Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Polly from the YouTube station reporting from Sacramento, California. We've managed to catch Teto So Creamy. Whoa. Is that right? Teto yeah. So Creamy? Alright, awesome. So we're gonna ask him a few questions just to get sort of a documentary base type of story here. So let's get started without further ado. We've got our questions here. Oh shit. We've got our questions here. So, Teto, what is your name and age? Bam! Pukarapapu! Mike! <laughs> well, well, Polly, well, a few months back I turned 18. Uh, I'm actually currently 18. You know, I turned 18 a while back. I happen to be from Sacramento. People call me Anthony, but they sometimes call me Teto. And others call me Fusco. New group. That sound smear them all over your face! Good response, that though. Alright, so I've heard that you come from a very sophisticated high school, so tell us a little bit about your high school and how, how was that experience told you? Oh shit, yeah. I told you. Alright, so how was your high school experience? Whatever. Was that recording? Well, my high school, I ended up growing up with a very large of, very large group of sophisticated students. Uh, in other words, they were very, very idiots and morons and everything that you can think of. So, uh, Teto is a very humble, nice man. Uh, he's been recognized for his achievements and a lot of humbleness inside his humble body. So he decided to go to humble, but he rejected humble because he was too humble. So uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about his humble stories here. So let's hear him. So this creature went up to me in the cafeteria and... Creature? Creature, yes. Uh, well, human, you know, but she has some meat in her, so we call her a creature now. Uh, she was very unique. She went up to me. She asked me for my number. She said I was pretty cute. A girl said I'm pretty cute. I was like, no, please stop. You look like the bottom of my shoe. <laughs> Story number two. I was I was driving. I was driving and this girl was honking at me. She was very cute looking. So I'm like very sensitive towards very cute looking girls. Okay, okay. And so she pulled up right next to me after she honked at me. She rolled down her window so I rolled down mine. And then she was like, uh, I thought it was cool. I was like, I don't give a f what you think, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> and then I told her, sorry, my, my new catchphrase is, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay, and then my story number three. So I play soccer, college soccer. And so you always have fans and haters. And mm -hmm. there was this woman on the sideline. And she was like, hey, number four, you suck. You suck. You totally suck. You're terrible. And then I was like, uh, I don't know, you know. So the ball came at me, and I like purposely kicked it out of bounds straight through her face, like, bam. <laughs> she didn't like it. She was very upset, and she was crying. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, there you have it, folks. We had 60 minutes with Teto and his humble stories. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want any more, you guys want to nominate another person to come get interviews, soup on by. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, boom.